day, my father took me to coffee house and we talked as we ate. Fish shops and sipped cold coffee out of cracked and yellow glasses. It was all yellow. Yellow walls under the yellow light bulbs, which I hadn't seen since the age of four at my grandfather's house where I no longer go. We talked and laughed and somewhere deep down I felt a nostalgia for an age before I was born. And I couldn't fathom it myself. Because how can your heart hurt when your father says, the heyday is over, the coffee house isn't what it once was, when you weren't even alive when the heyday was done? And how can your throat tighten and your chest clench and you can still see some old men here, old men with beards, and they still talk of revolution, a revolution that never came, when you were not a child of the revolution yourself. After we were done, we spent a while gauging our options and planning how we'd get home. A random spurt of the spirit of adventure, and we were on a tram, going to a place that neither of us knew. And once again, it was all yellow. Yellow panels under the yellow light bulbs, which I hadn't seen since the age of four, and my grandfather's house where I no longer go. And once again, I found myself nostalgic and aching for a time, decades before I was born. Because it was so easy to imagine the horses that once pulled this very trap, and the woman sitting opposite me in the gurkha, illuminated by the yellow light, could easily have been one of those vestiges of the days when this city was a fortress. And it was so easy to feel beneath your skin a bygone era trapped inside the four walls of the tram compartment, and looking out of the looking out of the barless windows onto the street was like peeking out of a glass jar where time stands still into a world that once resembled the inside of the jar, but not anymore, not even close. And I found myself thinking, is this how you got your time? On the streets of old Calcutta where we got off is a little shop. They sell nothing but variants of tea leaves. Established in 1946, says the board outside. And a silent pang inside my chest screams out to me, you ache for a time that was never yours and never will be. And I smile at the old man who sits at the shop, and he smiled back, a nod of acknowledgement. A girl, as violently a millennial as it gets, tumbling out of the end of the century. A man, as equally placidly a relic of the one past, and then there's ignorant longing. 